Uh, hello again everyone and uh, this is my second video series uh, I'm trying to use a different recording software called WeGame now uh, maybe it will be a better quality and anyways if somebody has a piece of advice on how to make a better quality recordings uh, I'd be glad to hear that so uh, in this videos there will be two games and we are going to talk about Zerg versus Zerg and uh, in most cases it's the matchup is dictated by the map so now we see that this is steps of war uh, dual map with two spawns it's very very small map and basically let's just go uh, the strategy is formulated here early on so there is absolutely no point to expand because it's suicidal and you will get rushed uh, there are two options how you can play here one and this is like 70 percent of the Zerg players do that that's speed links and bay links and this is what I'm going to do in this video so uh, I am building drones up until the 9th and usually now there is a debate what is better to do on the 9th build a drone or build an uh, overlord now I personally usually go for uh, overlord on the 9th and then a drone but here I decided to make a, an overlord on the 10th I don't know for whatever reason but the difference is really really small there is some minor advantage if you go for uh, 9 lord but not so big so uh, in the beginning, in my point of view, it's also a good idea to get a little bit ahead of your opponent. So you're sending one drone to scout, and yes, this is bad for your economy. Well, not bad, but I mean, it would be better if you would stay in mine. But then you see here that he has no pool yet, and he didn't expand, and uh, basically he won't trust you. So until he places up a spawning pool which he does you don't need to worry about one so uh... because if you will build links those links will have to travel all that way to your base and you see you can pop up an extra drone and place the spawning pool after he did this is how you nullify the disadvantage that you had placing your drone to scout but and if you would go for 10 pool rush this drone would be also very very valuable you can see that he's rushing you so uh, going back early gas after pool you should be focusing and placing the gas as soon as possible and putting drones and harvesting it uh, as soon as it pops up because uh, the in some cases uh, the person who first makes their speed wins because for example if he just if you're fighting at his base he gets speed and he has a pop of new links and you don't have speed yet it will be only in three seconds you're dead your army is dead in those three seconds so uh, if you feel like you're behind on gas don't fight don't fight at the, uh, your opponent's their base just defend because defending you have more chance to win and uh, here I'm pretty confident that we're about even so my links go all the way ahead and see 100 gas I make I make speed and he does speed let's check how different we are you see I'm a little bit ahead so basically it can be crucial but not so much. well this this little advantage is not so big so after you have speed, once you have 50 more gas, you should put a bane link nest as soon as possible. Right now I'm not doing that because I have a link in my base, I don't want it to see him. But you see, he already has a bane link nest. So as soon as possible, bane link nest. And keep popping their links. You see, I only have about 12 on minerals now. I'm not making any more drones, I'm just doing their links and trying to pressure them. And uh, don't worry, because he needs to defend. He won't be popping up economy. He will be popping out links as well. So just go ahead, put links. If he will make drones, he's dead. 
Uh, he is forced to make links. Okay, that's fine. You're fighting at his base, and you have will have the speed at the same time. That's great. And also, when you have this bane link nest, you can morph bane links near his base. Well, right here I see that he has too much of an army, so I move back. But popping uh, bane links in front of his base is much better than uh, making them here because they're so slow, it will take them forever to travel to your opponents. Okay, so you see my speed finishes and his speed finishes. As I said, pretty even. But because he had the bane link nest earlier, he already has this to defend. And in, last pa in, in this patch, you can actually see when bane links are morphing, they are like uh, dark green. And when they pop up, they are uh, like this. Yeah. So, after you. What you need to do now is just to get one or two links on one bane link of your enemy and move your army away. You don't want to everything to explode. It's a micro war now. And I had a lot of gas. This is the moment I actually screwed up. I shouldn't have made so much bane links. And uh, I should have microed them much better, but l let's see what's going on. See? Move away, put one. Yeah, full micro by me. I'm trying to, uh, to skip and go for the drones. Wonder. Yeah, well, I, I, I did kill some drones, losing my whole army. And uh, this is this is not the best way, best turn of events. I should have killed all this and this and this, but tough luck. So I'm on full defense right now, coping links and trying to defend. You see, those slow guys will take forever to come over here. So I am just defending. And my links will pop up, and I can, I can hold off. See, two links. That's okay. It's fine. One guy, is one guy. Oh, oh, this is ideal when you use one link to blow up a bane link. So also, uh, it's a good idea to move these guys in twos because two is enough to blow up. Uh, another set of enemy bailings. Okay, micro wars. And keep popping out links. Build your uh, queen on 5, HV on 4, press 4, Z, 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 Z to produce 5 weave and you need to in inject larva. Okay, so let's turn him off. Like what? What? What is? What is my assessment of the situation now? now? We're fighting, and I'm assuming that it can go on forever. Like we're not. I, I don't have any advantage. He doesn't have an advantage. The only advantage I can get here is to make more drones, and thus have more minerals and be able to tech. Uh, so. Once I send him off my base, I will try to do so. See, he's also not so dumb. Exploding my links and moving away from my bane links. No, 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 you're not gonna catch them. So, here is this point. I see him moving back to his base. Drones, 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 trying to get my advantage, and at the same time trying to pressure him, or at least keep him occupied so he can he he should click. See, he should click uh, on his army, not on his economy. Move them in twos, and now I see roaches, and I'm oh oh, he's been able to make roaches. And roaches plus links will waste just links and links with base links. It's a pretty close match, and a lot of actually depended on micro, but uh, like roaches, links, and I was assuming he has also bane links. 
I was like panicking at this moment. I put up Sanks, and his mistake was not to, not to attack me as soon as possible. And uh, I saw him moving out. That's why Overlord positioning is nice. And this army would never be th beat this army. So the only thing I could do is to try to trade bases. And uh, fortunately for me, he moved away the Roaches and didn't want to trade the base. He <laughs> just wasted his army by bits. So, huge mistake on his part. Not attacking me just in front. So I just killed all his drones and defended with my sunks. Nothing he can do now. Roaches are so slow without upgrades, so it's pointless to go over here and come back to the base. So it's GG.